Hey man. Style pilot. And I'm back again one more time. You heard? Today, as you can see from the title, today I am going to talk about my velvet double G Gucci loafers, man. Alright? So now, let's get right into it. Boy, wait, wait, before we get into it, dude, I, I, don't, I haven't looked at my subscribers, but I'm close to 100. You know, so that means people are actually watching this and getting something from it. Listen, if you're on here, man, and you just on your phone and you looking up these shoes and you trying to figure it out, man, just hit a subscribe button, man. It ain't going to hurt you that much to do that and help me out and tell a friend about it. I have a bunch of other content that's pretty cool that might help you out. My my uh, channel is mainly geared towards designer stuff, designer purchases, reviews, and things of that nature. So like, comment, subscribe. If you got any questions? Go ahead and ask me, man. It's not like I got a million subscribers and I can't get to you, but I'm getting right into these. Okay, the GG Velvet Loafer. Now, I got these for a birthday gift. Okay, but as you can see from the way the light hits it on video, the double G and the monogram on here looks like it's gold, which it does look like it's gold. But when you get up close to it, it's just indentions in the brown velvet. But when I put it under the light, it looks golden, right? Okay, it has a slight heel on it. Uh, I'll show you the bottom. It has my size. I wear a size 13. I've already worn these. Like, as soon as I got these, I wore these. Like, I was hyped about them. But um, I should have rubbed the sole, but I, I haven't made my decision. But, guys, if... I seriously encourage all of you guys, if you never ordered a pair of Gucci shoes, tennis shoes, sneakers, loafers, whatever, make sure you try to try the pair you have on before you purchase them, okay? Now, I wear a size 13, 13 and a half. My right foot is a half size bigger than my left, so most of the time, I wear a 13 and a half if I can find it in athletic shoes, or a 14. But I'm really a 13. It doesn't hurt really bad when I wear a, um, a size 13 shoe, but I can feel it sometimes. Once I break it in, I'm normally good. But I wear a 13, so in Gucci, I am a 12. I have a pair of loafers in Gucci that are a Gucci 13. I mean, a Gucci 11. And I'm a 13 in my shoe size, but for some reason, it fits perfect. So that's why I tell you guys to try your shoes on. So I'm going to give you another view of it. Okay, like I said... The monogram on here and the GGs, they look gold under light, and I think that's the purpose of it. But it's just indented. There's no color in this actual stitching or indention or, or uh, embroidery or whatever right here. All right? It's got the horse bit. This is like a, a metal gold plated type thing. Um, the heel is wood. Okay? Um, right here on the underside, it says Gucci made in Italy. Now, one really cool feature about this shoe, and I'll show you the box in a second, but one really cool feature about this shoe is that you can turn it into a mule. Now, when I wear this, some people are like, man, why are you not wearing your shoe all the way? I'm just like, you don't know no better. Like, <laughs> you, you really don't know no damn better. Okay, that's the whole purpose of it. Even when you go online and you click on the, on the shoe, it'll go in and out. When you click on it, it'll take the cursor on and off. It'll do this and that and this and that. So... I wear them, I'm I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I haven't worn them like an actual shoe. I wear them like a slide, man, and they are freaking awesome. Okay, now, some of you guys are like, what's the difference between this shoe and an actual mule then? Well, the mule is cut. I have a mule. Is that the right terminology? A mule, monk, whatever the hell it is. Um, But you see the difference. It's cut completely off at one point. Like, it's no back to it at all. So, when you look at it, this is basically a slide. Like, this is a full-on slipper. There's no option to make it a shoe. Now, they have a shoe just like this where you can do the same thing to it. But with this shoe, they made this leather right here instead of making it sway all the way around so you can do this. But on that other shoe that's like this that has, has the shoe and the leather all the way around, I think you can do that. But I would rather, honestly, I would rather just have this because most people don't. They don't. They don't think to do anything like this. And if I honestly, if I had an option, I have other designer sh shoes and sneakers, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna spend a lot of money on this for my birthday or Christmas or for a promotion I got, I would get the version that's a full shoe and then just slap the back in. But you gotta be really confident to do that. 
and know how to do it, know how to wear an outfit with that. All right, so um, yeah, this is it. Um, and it looks really good on. I'll show you some more art. Right, you can see that I've been wearing this back part out, but. I mean, once I, when I'm wearing it, my foot is in it, you can't tell the crease, and nobody thinks about this stuff. This inch is like, I mean, this uh, <laughs> this heel is like an inch high, so it gives me a little bit of height, even though I'm already tall. All right, let me show you the box. And you, some of you guys actually care about this crap, but whatever. I guess it's kind of like a legit check to see if I'm wearing fakes, I guess. But um, the box says Velvet GG Quentin. Um, and the style number, I guess... It's 526289JT80. And the price was 850 bucks retail. Alright, after tax, I don't know. It might be close to a thousand. Can you guys see that? Check that out. I know you guys care about this crap, but I don't. Let me see what, let me show you what's on the inside. Okay. I know some, somebody's watching this like, what does it come with? Style poly? What the hell? Alright. That, where is the, uh, you know, it comes with the stuffing and all that stuff. All right. And two dust bags, which is pretty cool. It's got the little Gucci joint on it, on both of the dust bags. So, you can, you know, I actually can fit two pairs of shoes in one dust bag. But it's always good to be able to have two, just in case. And it's got like a, a care tag in here. Yeah, it says Gucci responsibility on it. Come on in here, come on in here, like, come on in here, like, you're full of shit. It says Gucci responsibility on. I guess it just tells you how to treat it. But man, man, this is a bunch of paper in here, man. But that's pretty much the shoe. If you're thinking about buying this, buying this shoe, make sure that when you get it, when you get a shoe like this, you treat it, okay? Because this velvet, somebody steps on it, spills something on it, it's gonna be hell, guys. Let me show you what I use. I'll be 100% honest, okay? You can either take it to a cobbler and get them to treat it, or good old Crepitec, man. Just a little bit of spray. Make sure when you spray something like this, this value, you spray it, like, away from it. Don't get up tight on it. Guys, I had a pair of shoes, well, I have a pair of shoes, where I damn near ruined them. I tried, it was a pair of Christian Louboutin sneakers. If you look at my very first video, I'm talking about that. And it was a pair of Christian Louboutin sneakers that that I got, and I was excited about. It. I wanted to wear them the same day I bought them, right? So I got some Crepitec. I got the shoe, man, and I I put it right here. I'm right on top of it, right all on it, right in here, right. I ruined the shoe. I thought it was done. I tried to I tried to treat Christian Louboutin to send it back and tell him that something else was wrong with it, and they sent it right back to me like, nope, we know you messed this shoe up, basically. And uh, I had to take it to a cobbler, and they got all of that stuff out of it, and they treated it, it looks like a brand new shoe again. But if you're going to get this velvet sneaker, okay, and especially if you're hard on your shoes and you plan on wearing this a lot, make sure you get some type of protecting on it. And when you protect it, make sure you don't go over it too much because you don't need that much, okay? Don't go over it too much. Hit the spots. Make sure you get yourself some range on that thing, and then you'll be good. So, guys, that's pretty much it. Comment, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up. My Instagram is the Style Pilot. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. Remember, you are the flyest motherfucker on earth. I'll see y'all later.